What's up, everyone? My name is Aaron from the Soban Network here with a game review. Uh, we're going to be doing more Hammer 40K Sanctetis Reach. I'm probably mispronouncing this, like I always do, because I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, so, it is a uh, interesting game. It's done by uh, a company who did uh, Warhammer 40K uh, Armageddon. They also did uh, Panzer Corps. Um, uh, it's a it's a very uh, interesting game. It's not a real time strategy game. It is a turn based uh, strategy game. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's actually based on a Warhammer uh, 40k campaign, um, and it lets you either take command of the orcs, the mighty greenskins, or the mighty mighty space wolves. You know who uh, space marines, and they go into battle, and of course they're space wolves, so they. Like they do, like they do crazy stuff. Like, let's be honest here. Um, now, the campaign. Um, there's three campaigns. Uh, well, there's two, but there's the tutorial. Uh, there is Stormclaw, which is uh, actually th this is kind of based on the box set um, that came out. Uh, and then the actual campaign is the Hour of the Wolf. So. That's kind of cool. There is also a skirmish and editor mode. Um, we'll go. We'll go into skirmish because uh, I do like showing off gameplay. Uh, we'll do a small game. Um, we'll do small. We'll do Gulf Town attack. Um, there's a couple different options: defend, you defend, meet engagement. You're both hitting. Um, you can pick what your player is. You can have the space wolves. Um, you can be um, different army lists. So you can be the Drake Slayers, which is uh, the commander from the box. The Black Mains, which is Ragnar Black Main. And of course, the Champions of Furnace, uh, which is, of course, um, Logan Grimmar, if I'm remembering correct. Um, so. Let's see, openness, damage. Um, we'll make this a 1500 point. Um, yeah, we'll have the ripping crew. The ripping crew! Um, and we'll do, you know what, we'll attack. We got a uh, black main, we're gonna go attack. Uh, and then what happens is in some missions you can actually select what you have. Um, your units can get experience points so they can get a couple more options uh, in the game. Uh, so there is some options. So here's Gulf Town. Um, so we can pick what we're going to do. Um, Dun, 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 dun. So, we're going to grab some bolters. Uh, we're going to grab some melta guns. We'll take us a dreadnought. Um, let's see. Thunder wolves. We'll take some of those. Uh, we'll take a long fang missile squad. And. I guess we'll take another um, bolter. Now there is, um, you can kind of see here, um, you know, how much firepower, uh, how much piercing damage, um, how much their accuracy, uh, how many shots they get per action, and the range of the shot. So you can see melt guns are pretty close, bolt guns are eh, okay. Um, these actually, the Terminators actually have heavy flamers. Missile, pretty far. Um, dreadnought. Let's go. No, I want the Dreadnought. Uh, dreadnought's actually pretty big. It's also got some fire. And Thunder Wolves charge up. So we'll start the game. Um, you can rotate the camera. You only have X amount of turns to complete your objective. Um, we have to control the most. Um, or you can annihilate the enemy. Uh, we're going to send our Dreadnought forward. 
Uh, and now we can set up kind of an overwatch. Send on our boys. Uh, you do want to try to get some cover. Can also prevent um, line of sight on things. Uh, do, 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 do. You can also try to blow up cover. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do a crack missile from afar. All right. Uh... Yeah, we can only fire that once. Uh, let's see, can the Dreadnought actually do it? No, he's too far away. And then we'll have the Thunder Wolves. Uh, they don't have any close combat weapons. Just want to set up all my arcs properly. All right, we'll end our turn, and we'll see what comes our way. So, um, we got one reaction shot off. Got some orc burners. All right. Now, you do want to kill these guys pretty quick. Uh, because they can actually do a lot of damage to our infantry. Uh, but you can see... Like, these flamers can do well against infantry. Uh... Our Space Marines, they cost a little bit more, but, you know, they actually do quite a bit of work. But we also have to um, watch the amount of time that we have. Because the one thing um, to kind of prevent you from just kind of sitting and doing nothing uh, is the fact that... Um, You know, you only have a time limit. Alright, so if those orcs come out. Uh, we'll do a frag missile. Take quite a bit of damage. Fire another frag missile, because we didn't move. Alright. Uh, we'll move our cavalry over here. Just kind of scout out the area. Uh, throw in our bolt marines this way. Gray hunters. Just going to keep firing. So we are definitely bringing the pain to the orcs. So, now you can also have characters. There's actually, we found one. There's a, um, a big boy right here. Tossed a grenade at our dreadnought. Fired a bolt pistol, or his shooter. So, like I said, you can get some characters. I think he's a knob. Um, but you can get like wool priests, you can get um, like name characters. We could have Ragnar Black Main. You can actually do damage to your allies. So. Yeah, as you can see, this is they're just concentrating fire. Because our marines are a little bit more durable than the orcs. Uh, for the most part. Uh, until you get to like the bigger, more elite units. Yeah, you're firing at a dreadnought, buddy. Let's see. Wolf Claw. Did a little bit of damage in close combat. So he's almost dead. Uh, another thing is morale actually does play a part. gonna have him oh his morale's shot um let's see can we get a frag around in there let's see if we can kill these burna boys yeah that's a powerful long range unit 
Move more of our boys up. Uh, as you can see, we don't have line of sight to uh, some of those. Got some criticals. You can do criticals. They can kill a unit uh, pretty rapidly, which is nice. Um, we're going to move these guys up. So reaction fire. Now we're going to bring in our thunder wolves uh, to go and attack the burners. And it looks like we have a death dread over here. So that's not good. Set the reaction so we can actually get uh, an attack at close range, and we'll end the turn. So. As you can see, the gameplay is pretty easy to get into, which is nice. Uh, vehicles, they could, um, depending if they're like a light vehicle like these or a heavier vehicle, they could do some work. Um, so what we're going to do, he's almost done. Let's see, 50%. Kill their war boss. Um, bring up our dreadnought. Fire auto cannon into that. Let's see. Are they in range? Uh, potential to hit our own guys. Let's not do that with the long fangs up. Fire more. Uh, it's looking a little rough. Grey Hunter pack. Um, we'll move up this squad so they can take some of the damage, so we can move up our other units. Grey Hunter Squad. Just slaughtering these orcs. Now there is a heavier unit, these uh, knobs, um, that actually can do quite a bit of damage. So we do want to be careful of that. up our melt -a gun squad. Uh, so if that gets closer, they'll get uh, melt -a guns uh, hit them. And let's throw a power axe. Let's see if we can kill these orcs. Alright, and then we'll move our thunder calf this way all right I think that's good oh it's firing rockets thankfully hitting that debris um yeah that yeah that death dread just wrecked that our dreadnought it killed our big vehicle <laughs> that's not good uh, thankfully, we do have a melt gun squad that is going to roll up and hopefully do some damage. Uh, not a lot of damage, though. All right, let's move these guys this way. What we're hoping to do is just try to hit its rear armor a little bit. Cause now we have to take out this dread because it will wreck us. Yeah. 
right. So here's some of the uh, where you could have some issues. Um, let's throw some crack grenades here. It has no morale. So we'll throw the thunder wolves behind it. Homeboy is still rolling in hard. Uh oh. Poor Thunderwolf Cav. They're not they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. Um Let's see if we can just keep these uh, from reinforcing the Dreadnought. Maybe kill off some of these knobs. No, not enough. So, um, let's keep rolling, rolling in the deep. Hopefully. Now, not everyone kind of gets reactionary fire. Um, so. Yeah. Problem of being in the open. Oh, they really wanted to kill some of our troops. Um. Get our long fang. Put a crack missile. Another crack missile. All right, we got that. So now we got to roll. All right. Put some rounds into it. So. So we're doing well. We're just beating the heck out of it. These knobs could still do some damage, but I think we got this pretty much. Um, all right, let's throw some melted gun shots. More melted gun shots. Let's throw the Thunderwolf Cav. Happy little wolf killers. Yes. Look at them. Look at them. Boom. Wrecked. Now we'll move him up. So we can probably kill all the last bit of these orcs. This last orc, <laughs> and we'll have it. So we'll achieve my personal objective of kill all the orkies. Yep, yeah, you are, buddy. And there we go. So uh, they killed our heavy support, which was our dreadnought, but we killed them all and took all the objectives. So that's the basic of, um, of the game. Congratulations, the battle is won. Sega's will be son of our victory here today, but the war is not over yet. More challenges await. Uh, so that's the gameplay, um, and that's the skirmish mode. Uh, the campaign's pretty cool. You do get some characters. Uh, skirmish is nice. I think I think this right here uh, could expand. We could expand into like other chapters. Um, one of these days, I hope they do a 30k version of these because oh, I want it. Um, the gameplay is all right. Um, campaign, it's a, it's it's good. It's good. Um, 
it has some audio. It has some um, kind of some fun things. Actually, I'll, I'll just open up the skirmish just again. Uh, we'll we'll try for some something a lot bigger. Uh, points wise, we'll see if we can get some of those fancy characters. Um, we'll go to large. Let's increase our army to a metric butt ton. Because I want to show off at least some of the stuff. Um, let's see. Army list, dragon slayers, black mains. Um, let's see if we can get uh, black mains. There's also like some of the super heavies like Imperial Knights, which is cool. Um, so we'll see if this shows off a little bit more of the unit options. Like there, there is a limit. Um, like with the amount of units you can have. All right. Ah, uh, oh, no. Uh, well, this one actually added in a wolf priest. Um, but nothing too crazy. Uh, Thunder wolf. Uh, flamethrowers we can have. Thunder wolf blood claws, which are your basic infantry. Uh, wolf guard. It's kind of random um, for some of it. Um, if we change it to the champions of uh, Finneris, um, we'll see what other options we get. All right. Bolters, Bolters, Long Fane, World Wound, Predator. So, and it's also kind of random, unfortunately. Um, that's the unfortunate part. You know what, let's just increase the heck out of this. Let's go something crazy. Um, we'll go meeting engagement, we'll change this up. Just hoping it'll show off like all the units you can have. Cause there are, there are Imperial Knights, um, like there are those special characters. Oh, here we go. So we got Wolf Lord, uh, Krom, Got a wolf priest. Uh, we got so here's where it's adding some of the characters. Um, we got lean speeders, rhinos. Um, you know what? Let's see if it now gives us black mane. No, nope, still no. Try that again. No, nope, still kind of. Yeah, I, I wish like in these, um, this is like actually one of my things is I wish I could pick what units I have for sure in each one um, because um, it, I don't know, it'd be kind of nice because you could set it up like, um, how you actually want it like you you have some of it but it's kind of limited let's see what do we got here uh we got a wolf priest this time um dreadnought looks like we got a whirlwind wolf guard terminators uh we got a predator we got a land raider um so you can kind of add these. So um, I wish I could kind of pick it, like, I don't know, do something funny, like, oh, uh, uh, um, like, oh, we're going to just have, like, Terminators against this. Like, I wish you could set up some, you know, some bigger engagements is what I kind of mean, and kind of set your own thing. Um, that's kind of my pet peeve with the uh, skirmish mode. Campaign's fun. Um your units actually do get experience they get some more abilities um so i think i think it's a good game i think they could do more with it i think with the skirmish i wish there's just some more options um but you know this this is my review of it so check it out you can find it on steam um it's actually pretty reasonably priced um it's a nice if you like turn-based strategy games this is it um it's got Warhammer. It's got Space Wolves. 
what can go wrong. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is Aaron from the Sobon Network signing off. Till next time. Till then, happy gaming.